Hey guys, Iron Pine here on the Comrade SMP for yet another episode, and we are back on the server again tonight, uh, just as we always are. And I wanted to start this episode off by showing you all a little bit of stuff that I have done off camera, as always. And here's what I've done: I have taken the server and pretty much mapped out most of the inhabited areas. I wanted to show you all this map of the server that we have. You can see right down here is where we are uh, right now. We have Muni Rider Snow Base right over here. Then we have our shopping district, which looks really cool on the map, <laughs> especially Muni Rider's book building. It looks very nice. And then you have um, Kuya's base over here. You have Promethean's castle. Uh, you have Virulentus's house. Uh, you got Lucky Shot, which his area is looking really cool on the map. And you have mine making groceries. You've got Gabby Sauce right there in the middle with his um, nether brick and sandstone structure. And then you have Battle Beast and Promethean X's secondary base. So yeah, this place is looking really good. I am loving where it's going. And um, anyways, I just wanted to show you all this map. And at some point, we'll probably make a map room. Um, I'm not sure if I will build a separate building for it or if it will become a part of the um, kind of community meeting hall area that I'm currently working on. And speaking of that, I want to show you a little bit of progress there before we head into the meat of today's episode. Um, so if we swing around here, you can see that we have uh, finished the roof for the most part. We've also uh, done some designs on the floor and made a few little fire pits here. Uh, we have fire spread turned off on the server, and so it makes it feasible for us to be able to light fires in these buildings, which is very nice. I've also been working with Kuya SGA on getting a gable put together, and I think this is a design that we may go with for um, the front and the back here of this meeting hall, but it, it, it's up for change. Uh, it's not decided on um, quite yet, but I think that's what we'll be doing for that gable um, at the moment. So anyways, that is the quick update on things that have been going on off camera. Not a whole lot's been happening. Um, I've been having some troubles playing survival Minecraft lately. Um, just kind of a lack of ideas, a lack of inspiration, and a lack of knowing what to build, which that's still with me. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get through it, but it's kind of one of those things like I would almost just rather um, PvP all the time and, you know, play Egg Wars and um, do UHCs and that type of, type of stuff, hang out with the comrades, rather than have these huge projects I'm working on. But anyways, um, it is our time to begin work on another section of our uh, underground base here. This area has been neglected for far too long, and it is time for us to be working here again. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> and in today's episode, we will be working, um, hopefully, on building, um, first of all, I guess, a tunnel into these areas. And after that tunnel... I want to build kind of a library and like a forge and maybe even an armory. Those are some things that I want to build here in the near future. All trying to expand upon my keep and the fact that if we were under siege from one of the other comrades for some reason, we could hold out ourselves and do a good job of it or do a decently good job of it. So anyways, um, that's what the plan is for right now. I'm going to mine this tunnel out and then put the design that we have copied from over here. I'll install that, then I'll start mining out some of these rooms, and then most of the decoration, I guess, we will do uh, on camera. So I've done quite a bit of mining here. Um, not an extremely m a big amount, but I've mined out a room that I think would be good for a study, slash a little bit of a library. So we've gotten this mined out. It's time now to get some bookshelves, <laughs> and I figure I might as well pack this thing with bookshelves, because I happen to be the guy on the server who has a sugarcane farm that's actually pretty efficient. He also has a leather shop where he sells leather, and he also happens to be selling wood. So I figure that I have all the materials for bookshelves. I might as well go ham on it, because why not? So let's go ahead and make up as many bookshelves as we can feasibly um, make, which looks like it may not be too many. <laughs> with my inventory issues here. So let's just do that. And we'll do this kind of systematically. Or you know what we'll do? We don't need this stone brick stuff in here right yet. 
we'll do it like this. Um, now we have books, so we can make seven bookshelves. Um, so we'll do that. And bam, there's seven. And that's only seven, that's not a lot. We need a lot more bookshelves than seven. So let's make all the books we can. I think wood is going to be the limiting reactant here. Um, let's go ahead and put our leather in. And we'll make 64 books. And then, bam, okay, that's pretty good for now. Let's just throw that leather in that chest. So we have 64 and 10 books. Let's turn the rest of this into planks. And let's just go like this. Twenty-four. Actually, wood's not the limiting reactant. That's pretty interesting. Um, bam, thirty-one bookshelves. That's pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, that's a, a decent amount. So let's go ahead and just throw the rest of this stuff in here. And actually, I do need some spruce still. Um, let's take this spruce, and I want to get some spruce slabs. And y'all will see why here in just a minute. I also want some stone bricks. All right, we're set to go here. Um, so what I want to do here is I want to put stone bricks like this as a perimeter around this room. I think that would look pretty good. Um, and I want to have a spruce floor inside of that. So we'll see how this ends up uh, working out. I'm going to leave this area blank here because that's where we'll be throwing our bookshelves down along the sides here. So we'll do this. And you may notice from the last clip that I've turned my gamma, uh, my gamma lighting off. I've had that on for weeks now and I've gotten so used to it. But I think at some point um, I need to turn it off. That way I can get used to having to light things up again. Um, you know, for PvP and that type of stuff, it, it doesn't really matter. It's especially helpful. But when you're going to, um, to be doing other things, where lighting is kind of imperative, it makes sense to um, it makes sense to have your gamma turned off. That way, you can make sure you don't get mobs spawning and that type of stuff. So I think I want to put like a pillar or something right here. Um, I'm gonna place some more bookshelves, like this, and then like that. And we have one more. Um, this area where they're granite. Where the granite is, I'll probably put like a fireplace or something there at some point. I think that might look pretty good. Let's go ahead and get a proper floor into this room. Um, something like this. And then lighting will obviously be an issue. I'll probably put some glowstone in, in the corners. And speaking of which, I need to get more glowstone for my shop. Because I've been selling a lot of it. And I've not restocked it in quite some time. So let's go ahead and get some glowstone from this chest over here. Oh, I only have two. That's not much, but we will use it for the sake of demonstration here. And we'll put it at the two corners. And we may cover those up with carpets later on. And we'll also put some in the ceiling. Which that just reminds me. I need to figure out a design for the ceiling that I like. I think I want to do something. I want the ceiling here to be lower than the ceiling of the rest of the... Um, of the building here because I want this area to be a little bit more um, kind of comfort com comfort filled and homely if that makes any sense these hallways have high ceilings and it's almost like a dwarven base or something but the other areas I want to have lower ceilings because they're more living quarters and at some point I need to build a bedroom and uh, do all sorts of little things like that so I don't want to have a huge um, high ceiling in every room. I think that would be a little bit uh, overkill on that side of things. So I think it looks good for now. Um, you know what? I'm going to do an outline of spruce here. And then maybe we'll do like some oak on the ceiling as well. I think that would look pretty good. So let me get my design figured out here. For the sake of time, I want to keep my episodes in the 10 to 15 minute range. Um, just short and sweet. So I'm going to do some more design work here, and I will catch y'all once we get a better plan figured out. So I've done quite a lot of work since the last clip. I have spiffed the whole area up, put a little decoration in here, and gotten this place looking nice. 
we've got a couple armor stains here. Um, this one's still needs some armor on it, and it looks like I just broke it. But anyways, um, we are getting this thing decorated. I've got an elytra and a totem of undying over here in some uh, item frames. I've you know installed this table, which I think looks uh, relatively decent. We also have a map wall here, which is kind of interesting because um, I flew out to an area, found these little islands over here, and then kind of flew back and just took some maps as I went. And it's interesting to note how um, I was flying over and I took these maps and they came out blank. So when you put them on an item frame, it just makes the item frame bigger, which is kind of interesting. Uh, might be a little good decoration or something at some point. But that's just a little um, thing I, I discovered. So anyways, we've got this whole area. Um, I will eventually get some nice maps, but I wanted to go ahead and conclude this episode right where we are here. So I hope you all have enjoyed this. Uh, we're just kind of working on the library. In the next episode, we will probably be working over in this area, working on a uh, armory or something of that sort. So anyways, guys, I do hope you have enjoyed tonight's episode. And I thank you all so much for watching and for hanging in with me. And uh, I will catch you all in the next one. So uh, have a good day.